All right, everyone. We are doing another Hulk live stream. Again, we're going to continue the game. If you're watching on YouTube, nothing wrong with that, but I am mainly streaming live on Twitch. This is my seventh Hulk stream. This is the seventh stream. Um, but let's get right into it without further ado. We're going to continue the story mode. Get some more things done. <clears throat> I got some nice Lipton tea with me right here. The angrier Hulk gets, the more powerful he becomes. Build Rage to unlock something. Alright, we are back. So let's see what we have to do. We got the lesser two evils. Got Looks like another Enclave thing. And then we got one in Central Park, and that looks like a minigame. What does that say? Wait, what? Hit as many targets as possible. I kind of want to try that out. But yeah, I hope for those of you tuning in, be it live or be it on um, my YouTube channel. I hope you're having a good day. So again, I made some more optimizations. I just mainly I fixed some stuff on my Twitch channel and my about section. And just, just again, just kind of trying to adjust it. Because again, it, it was set to some pretty old stuff. So I kind of rebranded it a little bit. But other than that, yeah. All right, so we just smash as many as possible. Wait, what? Oh, I have to use this thing. I don't understand. Do I have to like do it like this? Oh. It's probably supposed to do it this way. This makes sense. Playing whack a mole and Hulk. You can kind of spam it a little bit. Does it matter where you are? Can you do it from anywhere? Do you have to be in the center of thing? Okay, you don't. I may have failed this one. <laughs> okay, let's see what we got. Oh, nice, I got silver. Alright, let's see now. So that should be just these regular missions now. So let's do... Uh, the Enclave base ones are pretty short. So let's go ahead and destroy another one. Neat little rail yard, it looks like. But yeah, it's been pretty fun this game so far. I've been having a good time playing it. Um, I really like it, and I can't wait to stream some more games too. Whoa. That's a weird looking gun. 
Oh, wow. Uh oh, no. Oh, I'm remembering this now. Oh, this is the thing that throws your... your... Oh, no. Not those guns. Convert your controls. I hate those things. go. Upgrade unlocked. Concept art. I don't know if I consider that an upgrade. It sounds more like just like concept art. <laughs> okay. I think at the, after I beat the game, um, like whatever, whenever the final episode um, or, well, final episode, the final stream, whatever you want to call it. Whenever I get to that point, I think I kind of want to maybe go through the extras and stuff and just see everything that I've unlocked up to this point. Okay, let's go over here. Wait, wait, what am I doing? I probably could have took a subway. Oh, no, it's right there. We're close by. Maybe I already did take a subway. I don't know. <laughs> I'm zoning out a little bit. It's kind of like that sometimes when you're going through the city. Alright. So here's our next mission. Lesser 2, defeat Vulcan Sector's ultimate weapon. at war with the army and the enclave they're at war with each other if hulk could choose one side would he or would he just destroy everything in his path very interesting question his little monologues are pretty interesting sounding objective protect says hulk cluster while he disables So definitely some of the uh, Hulkbuster guys seem like they're warming up to Hulk a bit. But, you know, Banner, you made an interesting comment. Like, if he had a side, would he choose one? Dude had no HP left. Oh my god, it's like a UFO with hell. Let's gonna try this out. He accomplished. He did 50 enemies using rage powers. Am I destroying this thing? Yeah, I am. Okay, just making sure. Is there a certain way I have to destroy it? Maybe I have to take out these things instead of just punching in general. Okay, now there's buttons.
Okay, is it good? Yep. Nice. As I would love to gloat over Vulcan's defeat, none of us has done better. We cannot defeat the Hulk using proxies. We need to take a more active, personal role. Distasteful, but I agree. It's merely an issue of choosing the time and place. Perhaps, if we're lucky, the army will still do the work for us. We didn't think you'd live, let alone walk again. I, uh, better get back to work. This stuff's a miracle. I feel it. I almost had it. All I need's a little more. I agree. That's why I've authorized you to receive the full treatment. I'm taking the gloves off now. Alright, that's a familiar scene from the movie. I remember when that happened. That was like right after he got injured. They said something like his heart's beating like a machine. He also has his shirt off, but in this one it doesn't seem to be the case. Oh, more mini games. Oh, there we go. I stuck a car to a building. I just jumped in through it. Yeah, hang on. Give me another car. How'd that happen? What was what was the prerequisites for that? Is like certain. There we go, well, I got it. Grand lock, how can I pick up weakened enemy vehicles? Nice. That's good. I was trying to get that last game. Okay, where's my map? Defeat a fully upgrade? Well, that's not, doesn't sound too terrible. There's a couple down there. A lot of things on the map now. <laughs> that. Yeah, it's interesting. Again, like I said before in a previous stream, it's really interesting how this game kind of moves away from the stuff that happens in the movie and they add all the additional stuff. They've always done that in these games though, I think. At least the older Marvel games. They used to do this, like, a lot. Like, I don't know where the trend started, but I remember in the Spider-Man game for the first Sam Raimi Spider-Man movie, like, they had the Vulture, they had, like, the Scorpion, they had all these characters that weren't in it. Which I thought was pretty neat. I mean, I'm probably only going to be able to throw stuff at this guy, right? I think that's all I can do. And it looks like I have to throw him when he has his shield down. But yeah, um, like they had like that, and then for Spider-Man 2 they had a bunch of characters, like they had Mysterio and all that. Do I have to damage this guy to get his shield down? What's going on here? Okay, it looks like... Let's see, let's do it at random. hit him. Darn it. But yeah, like in Spider-Man 2 you had like Mysterio and Spider-Man 3 they put in Kraven. Yeah, it looks like you might just have to attack this guy anyways. Oh, is he down? It's like vehicles only. still attacking me with shields up maybe and it might damage him but yeah 
it's been a common trend for uh, the mar earlier Marvel games, like especially on the consoles, like the PS2 era, to kind of separate from the official stuff a little bit. Damn, gets that thing up so fast. There we go. Looks like you can knock him down to his feet too, which helps. Or he falls down, I don't know what causes that. Yeah, something like that. See, I had to get the figure out how to do this. I figured it out now. Just gotta be fast with the, when you hit him. There we go. Now nah, I'll take a silver. But yeah, in the 2000, I think in the 2003 Hulk game, like you know, the based on the what was it, the Ang Lee. 2003 Hulk movie, like yeah, I mean they, that movie that was an interesting game because I mean that was they had that like whoa, uh oh, why am I like on the bottom of the map? Do we have our first glitch? Do we have our first bug, everybody? We may have our first bug. Yeah, I can't move. Just locked on the screen. Okay. That's fine. I mean, let me see if it changed. Nope. All right. Looks like we ran into our first bug. That's pretty impressive, you know. For a game from 2008, that, that's the first bug we run into. That's not bad, all things considered. I might have to title this YouTube video um, our first glitch or something. Make it a little clickbaity. <laughs> Okay, we'll restart the game, I suppose. But yeah, um, yeah, not bad. I mean, we're on the seventh stream, and we're only now just running into a bug. I mean, that's pretty good for a 2008 game, you know. Sega. I just hope the bug isn't like you know game breaking. I think what caused it was I went to the mini map too soon after the uh, mini game ended. I think it auto saved right as I opened my mini map. That might have been what caused it. But no worries. We'll just get back in it, you know? hope you know the bug wasn't like game breaking all right pretty good from the looks of it it was not game breaking but let's see if my mini map works yep okay it works now my question was did that mini game save like did it save our progress stray I'm just curious okay looks like it did Nice. Let's do uh, this one, King of the Mountain. Stay on top of the building for as long as possible. So it did actually save our progress. That's good. So we don't have to fight the Kyclops again. Yeah, I'm good. I've, I think I've stopped enough on Clave Assaults. <laughs> on the building. Speed. Wonder what's gonna try to knock us off. I love the music in this game.
Um, so do I need to fight these guys, or am I just... Oh crap, big head dudes here. Again, I don't even remember how much these things... Oh god, this guy. Now this guy, if anything's gonna knock me off this building, it's this guy. Oh, don't get comboed. Okay, they just kind of nudge you. Managing all right so far. Come on, you're more ranged than me. It's not fair. Oh god, I knocked him off. Can I help get out my uh, ground pound ability? Because that's the only way I'm gonna be able to take these douchebags out. Damn. I was close to taking him out too. It was those little shits with the beams. They're the ones that cause the issues. <laughs> Alright, let's see. So we got a gold though. Yeah, we actually stayed well past gold. Gold was a minute fifteen. We we got two forty. All right. Let's see what else we can do. Let's do some of the ones down here. Take Betty on a ten thousand dollar what? A ten thousand dollar shopping spree. So is this gonna be like the Mary Jane fly mission, or taking Mary Jane for a, a swing mission? Is it gonna be like that? That sounds actually kind of interesting. I want to do that now. What an interesting mini game idea. Like just. Running around with Betty on your back while she goes and buys shit? Like, really? I'm curious what this is gonna look like. Okay, where'd my marker go? So it's down there, so we're gonna take this one. Subway station, it looks like here too. I don't think I got this one over here. We'll get the subway station real quick. Because one thing I've learned is that they are very vital.
<clears throat> Don't let the army get in her way. So we're stopping the army? Oh. Pick up Bay and take her to the next door. Yellow, orange. Oh, so we want to go for the green and yellow? Green and yellow side? General Ross sent the army to stop you. Protect Betty. Again, Ross being a great dad, am I right? It'd be cool if she had some voice lines. It's kind of just mute, it sounds like. Wow, they just summoned out of nowhere. Okay, I think there's a green one right over here. I'm gonna try to go to. I think I said green was the best. Could be wrong though. Oh man, these guys. I gotta focus on the tanks first. Oh man, I'm getting comboed. Oh, I see what that little icon is now. He's gonna pick him up. Just need to take Bay. Let's maybe just work our way around towards the green. I forgot what quality this is. Come on, General Ross, you just taking your daughter shopping, what's wrong with that? I had to send the whole army out. I can't remember what's worth more, yellow or orange. Kinda wanna go to one of the higher value ones though. Unless I have to do all of them. Completely. Let's see how we did. Yeah, that's not bad. I'll take that. I'll take a silver. I think there's supposed to be another one nearby. Let's do this over here. Steel Enclave Technology for Shimmers. Oh, it's just a mission. Nice. Just a mission. We're almost there, Bruce. 
but we should test the cure before we use it on you. And how are we going to do that? I've been cross-referencing your genetic code with Enclave DNA samples. We can use their technology for our test. We need their genetic simulator. <sighs> okay, so we're going to get a genetic simulator, he said. Go. Nice. I don't want to fight those dudes. I guess I gotta check the subway real quick, see if we have it. Well, maybe because we're in a mission, it wouldn't even let us do it, I wonder. Oh my god, this thing is awful that this guy is using. Man, these enemies are getting really powerful. Yeah, I can't stand still. right there yeah I think they're trying to throw it in the water so no thank you no thank you upgrade I got. It's nice being able to pick stuff up. these little shits who try to grab it just come out of nowhere they literally always just spawn right above it there we go okay bring it on oh, well, not this asshole again So, as for like a genuine criticism of this game, um, so far, the biggest thing I would say that I'm not the biggest fan about in this game is just some of the missions are kind of repetitive. 
I would say that's just the biggest thing that I'm not a huge fan of. Because I feel like we've already done like four or five of these like same exact style missions in like the same area where you go to like Ster where Stearns is at the university or whatever and just yeah just bring the item here defend it the guys swoop in try to take it I've it's just getting a little bit repetitive in that area that's so far the biggest criticism I would say I have of the game just a bit repetitive Beat all the enemies. Sounds simple enough. These guys can just run into them. Punch them and run into them and they're good. Looks like we're on a timer too. How's that? I don't know if I've ever seen these enemies before. Maybe we're gonna see them in the next missions. Okay. Well, I saw these guys in the last thing. Mainly just because they kind of stun lock you. This guy's way too far from that spot. Oh. Yep, just straight up combat. Oh yeah, these are the ones that blow up. I remember these. Okay, more of these guys. No problem, I can handle them. Oh god, it's this guy. So this guy can actually destroy pretty easy. I mean, yeah, you take damage if you stand him, but he's, like, very weak. As long as you're, you have good health, you can literally just beat the shit out of this guy. To my knowledge.
guy, you just gotta use the three punches or whatever. And he does his little thing, step back. Step back, step back, oh well, that's fine. Dunzo. Nice, I wonder what we got. Had a little mini boss rush there. Hey, gold! Wow. Four minutes short of... <laughs> I had four minutes left and I could have still got gold. They give you plenty of time for that one. I wonder, I want to check my upgrades really quick, because I wonder what it takes to get the upgrade at Thunderclap, I still don't think I've gotten it yet. I'm just curious, improve Thunderclap, okay. Superior Thunderclap, get the Enclave. So in other words, that's just sounds like it's mission based. So I just, yeah, it's just missions from now on for that. Because the Thunderclap is like my favorite special, like my, my favorite rage move in this. Okay, what else do we have? We have this air raid. Looks like that's the last mini game, but we're closest to this, so I'm gonna go to this. And then maybe after this one, we can do the mini game, just so they're all done. Oh, I heard a power up. Where's it at? Oh, it's in a thing. What do you know? Oh, look, here, there's another one right across from it. That's cool. Tech Cerns. Dangerous area. Yeah, the cutscenes in this game are really short. Savor like a few of them, like the main story ones, like the intro and like the ones that are actually in the movie. They're pretty long, but or longer, but <laughs> the ones that are just like unique to this game, I feel like are mostly just like ten seconds or less. Okay. Objective to drop the item here. Okay, just being sure. Objective drop. Okay, that's not something to do. I guess I have to protect the building. Wait, do I have to actually defend this building for four minutes, or it's, does he ever get out? Like, because... Like, I don't think I'm going to be able to defend this building for four minutes straight without it losing all its HP. Sorry, but I just don't think that's happening. We'll see, maybe it lightens up the load a little bit. Oh, 
place. He looks like he's down. Good thunderclap, these guys. Just want to make sure I don't hit that building. Come on, don't run away. No, stay here. That sort of worked. Didn't even blow him up. Yeah, this building's going down, I think. I don't know if it's game over, if the health runs out or what, but if it is... Let's try it again, but I might have to come back to that one later because that was pretty tough. See, they're right next to the fucking thing too, which makes it hard because I have to like not hit it. Like, see how easy that is? They pull up right next to it. That's so annoying. And, of course, like... I have an idea. Do I just have to stand next to these things and, like, prevent them from hitting the building? Like, will they even attack the building if I just stand here? Because I gotta, like, make sure I really don't touch touch that fucking thing. See, this is a problem because it's so easy for that building to take damage. That's what's going to make the hard... Four minutes, man. That's a long time to do this. So these guys keep spawning, or could I like stop at one point? Because it looks like they just... If I could just like kite a couple of enemies around for like five minutes, that would be way easier than trying to keep this thing completely undamaged and unscathed. Because I mean, stuff's going to bump into this thing a little bit. I guess as long as I keep the, all the focus on me, it might work. Use this thing. Okay, so why not too bad? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hit another building. <laughs> oh god, this thing tanks out. Really, man? Come on, no! And see, all the enemies get knocked into it.
So if I just walk here, are they still going to attack it? Okay, so as long as I'm around it, it seems like they don't hit it that much. Oh my god. I have to be careful where I, like, take out the vehicles, too, because they can ricochet. They can bounce into this, this building as well. Are we good? What happened? What was that? Kicks back to University University. So, okay, so it wasn't four minutes, then it was three. Okay. Bit of a deceptive timer. Makes sense. Do I have to defend ball sterns? No? Alright. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> that was invigorating. And now we know that the cure works. Again, very short cutscenes. Okay, let's see. Do I have this subway over here? I think I do. I'm gonna see where I can go next. Um, wasn't there a mini game? Yeah, there's this one right here. Let's go do that one real quick. And then what, maybe do the mission. Air raid destroy as many flying enemies as possible. Oh boy. <laughs> Honestly, the flying enemies aren't too bad. I can take care of them pretty well, usually. We'll see. If it's the, like, armored dudes. What are we doing? Soldiers one, okay. Helicopters the best, gotcha. Well, they're all right there, okay. See, this is I like the enemies that have the knob bag attacks are pretty annoying. It's hard to even get a hit on some of these guys. Oh my god, I'm getting resources. Oh, that's nice.
I don't know why I scored on that, but we're gonna find out. Eh, I was four off from gold, but that's okay. I'm good. I'm not trying to be a perfectionist in this playthrough of this game. Alright, now we can move on to the mission. The mission at hand. So it's up here. Oh, whoops. I kind of don't like... One thing I don't like about the subway is it takes off your objective markers. It takes them off the map, so... That's why I have to leave, like, a little... Waypoint marker, because that's the only way I know... Like, I'm going to the right subway. Alright, so now we got another one. Steal the army's new weapon. It's time to end this. I found out that Ross is transporting an experimental weapon, and he's planning to deploy it personally since he doesn't trust Talbot to do the job. Okay. Find the truck that's transporting the new cannon. No, I was going to get the Rage Canister. No! <laughs> what the? It's got to be Talbot. You have to get that thing back. Okay, looks like they're stealing the weapon. Nice. Where's that? There it is. I'll take that real quick. Now I'm gonna go after that thing. Gimme. God, that thing just got destroyed. What the hell? Just ran him. Just blew up in front of me. get knocked all the way over there. Oh, it's good. Nice. We won. Upgrade incredible healing factor. It's nice. All right, what's stream time? We're at an hour, but I might do one more um complete a story without defeating any enemies. Wow, interesting. So we're at an hour, but I might do one more mission. What's this next one? It's right here. Rescue Betty. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. That sounds interesting, and then we'll end on a high note.
instead of just, you know, grabbing a thing and dropping it off. There's totally a power up on top of this. If there's not, I'm disappointed. Call it. It was too unique of a building to not put something there. Nietzsche said that he who fights with monsters might take care lest he thereby become a monster. When a man crosses societal lines, he becomes a monster, even if he does so to hunt something he thinks is worse. Nice. Quoting Nietzsche. Nietzsche. What the fuck? Ross, really? You put your daughter in danger like that? Like, put her in a box? And now these Hulkbusters, what the hell? They were, like, nice earlier. They, they were, like, I thought they were changing their mind. Destroy whatever's electrifying the box. Oh, man. Can I take this guy out? Yeah, there's like too many enemies here. Like I'm not, I can't get a hit in because I'm just keep, I'm constantly getting erupted. I'm actually probably gonna have to heal. Is this even enough to break his armor? It is! Nice. See, these guys are getting killed by these other guys because there's so much firepower coming my way. Okay, there we go. What is hitting me? Where are these like explosive things coming from? This is driving me nuts. Okay, you can do combos too. Cool. So can I. What are vehicles hurt him? Let's get a pull. probably do the thing that blocks it. Oh man, he's really weak to range shit. What'd he block that? Yeah, he's done. Okay, can I go get Bay now? He accomplished. Defeat Hulk's for second as Hulk plus German soldier. Throw the asset into the generator. Nice. Can I reuse the guy? Oh wow, he, he destroyed the other one. <laughs> yeah, I think a big thing that helps is maybe to take care of these other guys first, just because they're causing like me to be able to fight this other guy.
wonder if the um, Hulk fist damage this guy at all. I'll try it out. I might just still need to do the whatchamacallit, the Fury Fists, but I want to try. It did look like they did a bit more damage. Damn, knocked his ass out. Pick, pick up. Come on, buddy. Come on. Can I, like, destroy both of them, maybe? If I aim at that one. Nice. <laughs> nice. Man, Ross is crazy for doing that. Thank you. There we go. All right. So, anyone who's tuning in, um, thank you for joining the stream. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I will be uploading the VOD to YouTube as usual, but I hope you have a good rest day, night, or evening, whatever time you're watching this, wherever you're watching it, however you're watching it. Um, but yeah, we're definitely going to finish this game. I'm going to, I'm committed to playing through it and I'm going to try to record it while well, stream it and record it, upload it every night. So again, um, this is David. This has been David from the Mr. Black Superboy Twitch channel, Mr. Black YouTube channel, whatever you want to call it. Um, hope you have a good rest of your day, night, or evening. Bye.